हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इन टू द अनदर सेशन ऑफ सी एस जीरो सेवन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर यूजिंग प्रोग्रामिंग इन सी एज ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट यूनिट नंबर टू शॉर्टिंग एंड सर्चिंग वेर वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड विथ वेरियस शॉर्टिंग टेक्निक्स लाइक बबल इंसर्शन क्विक एंड बकेट शॉर्ट इन टू द प्रीवियस लेक्चर थियोरिटिकली अलगोरिदम एंड प्रोग्राम all these three sections we have done for various types of previous shorting technique in today's discussion we are going to discuss about merge short as far as the examination is concerned this shorting technique is not that much important but still we have to keep in our mind the theoretical algorithm and program of merge short so as the name is suggested this particular shorting technique rearrange the number from smallest to highest using a specific type of technique which is called as merge short now what happens into the merge short in merge short first it divide set of numbers in two different part or we can say two different sub sections then individually each short the specific section once both the section gets shorted it merge both the section and ultimately user will get shorted numbers that theory is written over here what will be the theory of merge short the theory of merge short is like this merge short is an big o n log n comparison based shorting algorithm it is most implementation produce a stable shorting which means that the implementation preserves the input order of equal elements in shorted output merge short is a divide and conquer algorithm that was invented by john von neumann in 1945 a detailed description and analysis of bottom of merge short appears into the report by goldstein and neumann into the early or of 1948 so this theoretical section contains some basics of historical part of merge short that it was that means it was founded into the year 1945 and officially it is released in 1948 by john von neumann and its team this particular shorting algorithm use big o and log n procedure for comparison based in this particular shorting technique it use divide and conquer method for shorting the numbers which i have already demonstrated in this few lines that first it's divide into the two subset then it individually short the two subsets once the individually get shorted the two subsets it compare all the numbers in both the subsets and rearrange for getting the shorted number 
सो दिस वॉज द थियोरिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ मर्ज शॉट वॉट अलगोरिजम सेज अबाउट द मर्ज शॉट द अलगोरिजम ऑफ मर्ज शॉट इज लाइक दिस let me rearrange the every line first that's it as you can see in this text view this particular algorithm is consist of eight different steps now in this different eight steps we will find uh, some variable which is declared these variables are n list underscore a m list underscore b and last one is result so n is the number of unshorted values that means how many values we want to short say for example 5 10 15 that is n list a is the first list of unshorted number m is the values which is in list a as well as into the list b and shorted list is called as result in this particular algorithm let me revise the word n is the natural numbers list e a is the first list of unshorted number m is the number of elements which is unshorted into the list a as well as list b and result is the shorted list of entire number so that thing is little uh, is written over here n represents the number of elements into the first list that is list underscore a so list underscore a is the first unshorted list that we have to get list underscore a represents the list of element which is called as first list m represents the number of elements into the second list that is list b so list b means it represents the list of elements which is also called as second list so over here we can say that there are four main variables are there list a is the first list which contains unshorted n numbers list b is the another list which contains unshorted m elements so n is for list a and m is for list b which is very clear now step number 1 in this slice few local variables like i is equals to 0 j is equals to 0 and k is equals to 0 where i is for the list 1 j is for list 2 and k is for the final shorted list which is called as result now step number 2 is what 
step number two is actually the repetition of step number three by checking the necessary condition that i should be less than n and j should be less than m so n is the number of elements in list a and m is the number of elements in list b so i should be less than the number of elements of first list and j should be less than number of elements into the list b so this is step number 2 if both the condition of step number 2 is true then it executes step number 3 what happens into the step number 3 into the step number 3 actually two different process get handles over here let me bifurcate over here process number 1 is what all the element of list 1 should be less than all the elements of list B. Again, let me revise my word. All the element of list A should be less than all the elements of list B. That means what we will find in list A, all the element must be less than all the element of list B. Let's take our example. I uh, have sorry. Over here, let's write our example. Say for example, I have the numbers like uh, 5, 0, 2, 1 and 9. Uh, total there are 5 numbers. Then this particular unsorted list must be divided into the two part that is uh, list A and list B. What comes into the list A? All the equal number of elements uh, let me take over here six numbers which is less than less uh, list b so we can kept zero then two then one and five over here uh, sorry three three numbers i would like to keep over here zero two and one and remaining one that is five 0 is taken, 2 is taken, 1 is taken, 9 <coughs> and 10. Yes, this is correct. What I have done? I have bifurcated this number into the two equal number of lists, where list A contains all the element which is less than the elements of list B. In list A, no doubt all the elements are not shorted. Even in list B, all the elements might not be shorted no doubt over here right now it is shorted but it might be possible that elements are not get shorted so this thing is done by step number three by checking this particular condition if any of the number in list a is not in a proper place then automatically it rearranges that particular list which it gets a proper element say for example uh, this 10 is over here and 1 is over here then this step number 3 will take a 1 from list B and stores inside the list A and it takes 10 from list A and it's stored inside the list B. So that has been done using this particular logical line of code that if A of I is less than list B of J, result of K is equals to result A of I, I is equals to I plus 1 and K is equals to K plus 1 where K is the resultant list. So this and this are called as resultant list. even it also checks in reverse case list of a uh, list a must contains 
द हायर वैल्यू ऑफ लिस्ट बी दैट मीन्स इन अवर केस समथिंग इज डिफरेंट लिस्ट बी कंटेन्स हायर वैल्यू देन लिस्ट बी वंस दिस स्टेप नंबर थ्री गेट्स ओवर स्टेप नंबर फोर internally shorts all the number but before internally shorting all the numbers how many elements are there should be clear so in right now in our both the list number of elements are equal so step number 4 returns 3 step number 5 takes every number one by one and internally it shorts the number say for example over here it shorts the number like this and these numbers are already shorted so step number 5 internally shorts the number step number 6 sorry step number 5 internally shorts list a and step number 6 internally shorts list b and step number 7 merge both the list that means at the final output a common list has been created like this which is ultimately the shorted number that is 0 1 2 5 9 and 10 of this unshorted number so this step number 7 merge both the shorted list and step number 8 returns into the main code or we can say right or we can write over here exit so let's see step number 4 is what size of a list which is larger than list of b that is if i is less than n it repeats through step number 5 for every elements it increase the value of i is equals to i plus 1 k is equals to k plus 1 step number 6 is the size of b larger than the list a that means j is less than m it repeats for every elements of next list and shorts the every number and finally it merge both the numbers and print onto the screen now let's see the program of this particular shorting technique uh if you want to write this particular algorithm just pause the video and write down all these steps then again pause the video and write down the remaining steps let's start with the programming section for that open the turbo c and this is the shorting program which i have made it was of near uh, about 64 lines 63 lines let's compile once i would like to show you first the output whenever you executes this particular program it will ask for the number say for example first number i am giving 9 then there is a one confirmation message that do you want to continue over here type y and press enter program run again and it will ask another number 4 suppose i am giving again y i am giving 0 again y i am giving 1 again y and i am giving 5 again press enter how many numbers i have entered 1 2 3 4 5 now over here i am giving n so automatically it shows a one output onto the screen that your array is 94015 which is unshorted number and after the shorting the numbers are 0145 and 9 so this is the code that we have to consider now let's see this particular program over the notepad for better visibility so i'm just opening this particular code into the notepad because in turbo c in recorded lecture it is not possible to have a good look so program starts with the initialization of basic 
library function then there is an initialization of n is equals to 1 over here i have used global variable declaration concept over here so integer n is equals to 1 then integer a is equals to 100 maximum my program shorts the 100 number then there is a function initialization called void merge name of my function is merge integer a of array integer lower one integer upper one integer lower two integer upper two what does it means it means that whenever you are bifurcating the numbers into the two subsets means list number a contains say for example uh, 4 0 1 and 5 no 4 0 and 1 list a and list b contains the element like 9 4 is taken 0 is taken 1 is taken 5 and 6 so in both the list there is an higher value as well as lower value for list a over here highest value is 4 and the lowest value is 1 and for list b highest value is 9 and lowest value is 5 so that has been taken using this particular variables so lower 1 upper 1 for list 1 lower 2 and upper 2 for list 2 then there is a void main statement here character ch why we have taken character ch over here if you remember then every time whenever we enters the number it asks that do you want to continue and at that particular time we are giving y for yes and n for no so that y and n is accepted by this particular variable called ch then next one is integer key we will see what is the purpose of integer key clr scr i don't want to discuss yet do opening bracket in this do statement there is our message that enter your uh, enter number whatever the number get entered by the user store inside the variable called a which is declared over here it increments the value of n by 1 and ask for one confirmation message that do you want to continue f plus std need to be used as we are storing an alphabet value into the particular variable that is y for yes and n for no whatever we enter stores in ch if ch is not n then this do statement will continues that means till we do not enter y number get accepted up to 100 in this particular program again i am repeating my words this particular shorting technique shorts maximum 100 numbers during these 100 numbers till you not press y uh, sorry n as a choice it will accept the number once you press n number is not accepted by the program and shorting will be held so to display unshorted number there is a function called before after this particular message that your array is printf this printf is actually an udf which prints the unshorted number and after shorting another udf gets called that is merge short where total number of elements the first number and the last number is passed for the shorting purpose and again printf get called so first we will see that what is printf printf function is just like a display function which we have seen into the previous program which prints the shorted values over here you can see that
integer i for i is equals to 1 i less than n i plus plus printf percentage d a of i will print all the shorted values but all that value is getting shorted by this function called which is called as merge short so all unshorted value stores in this array lower stores and that means the zero stores in lower and previous value is stored inside the upper then actual implementation of merge short starts over here first of all it will find out the breakup that is called as middle element by comparing upper is greater than lower if it is if upper is greater than lower then it find out mid equals to lower plus upper divide by 2 that means the middle element get founded say for example in unsort in this unsorted list from which point we have to bifurcate the two list so this zero is the point key point from where the these two list get bifurcated so that has been done using this particular logical line of code that is mid equals to lower plus upper divided by 2 merge short a lower mid merge short a mid plus 1 upper and merge a lower mid mid plus 1 lower that means two list is created over here now all these two lists gets internally shorted by this selected line of code so again unshorted list and the lower value of first list, upper value of first list, first list, lower value of second list, upper value of second list is passed in this particular UDF. Internally, all that list gets shorted by this particular selected line of code. But before that, let's discuss about the various variable that is P, Q, J, N integer d of 100 where p is equals to lower 1 and q is equals to lower 2 that means the lowest value of list 1 is stored in p and lowest value of list 2 is stored inside the q then n equals to 0 then step number 3 as per the algorithm repeats over here while p is less than equals to upper 1 that means if the value is lower if the lower value is less than upper 1 and if the lowest value of list 2 is less than or equals to list upper value of list 2 then internally it shorts the number by capital D that's a array n plus n plus plus equals to a of p less than a of q here I have used the ternary operator where, where it increase the element of list 1 or otherwise it increments the element of list 2 once both the list gets internally shorted then this particular condition becomes true that means every number in list a should be less than every number of list b <coughs> once both the list gets shorted internally this particular for loop executes and it merge both the list so for q is equals to lower one n is equals to zero q less than equals to upper one q plus plus n plus plus for every value it's to uh, merge the list of a with list of b and program gets written into the print function called and this print function called prints all the unshort uh, all the shorted numbers i know this is little bit difficult to digest but try to digest each and every line one by one but before that write down this particular program properly for the journal during the writing of this particular program please mention each and every word properly that means by forget capital as well as small ca case letter which I have written so just pause the video 
एंड राइट डाउन प्रोग्राम अप टू दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट देन अगेन पोज द वीडियो एंड राइट डाउन प्रोग्राम अप टू दिस क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट देन अगेन पोज द वीडियो एंड राइट डाउन द रिमेनिंग लाइन ऑफ कोड I hope by posing the videos all of you have written the code the definition would be like this write a program to sort the numbers using merge sort relax this type of complicated program might not be asked into the examination but we need to prepare ourselves for any rust condition in our next lecture we will go for another type of sorting technique which is simple called selection sort as well as shell sort so in next lecture we'll go for sorting technique called selection and shell sort and once the selection shot and shell shot gets completed entire shorting technique is completed then we have to move towards the searching technology which is very simple very easy and 110% it is going to be asked into the examination so till that thank you very much students for listening me and have a nice day